I wish I had been brave enough to help her out. Now you'll probably get to have sex. I never get to have sex except with myself. So if you've been sleeping under a rock, Duke Nukem Forever 2001 was leaked. I got my hands on it. And as somebody that's been looking forward to it since 2001, to finally get my hands on something we all wanted, and sadly we got the 2011 version from Gearbox, as well as anybody else who messed with it over the 14 years of development, it's something very special to a lot of us who are old enough to remember the announcement trailer back then. Sadly, the leak is pretty much the E3 trailer footage, uh, scripted sequences that are kind of broken, no animations. There are a few levels that kind of work. You can run around and there's some possessed soldiers with the alien uh, kind of insects inside their head that you can attack and fight with couple of weapons but you mainly spawn on all maps with just the desert eagle pistol and your foot that you can press f to take a leak everywhere and there are some console commands you can use to spawn the other items that are not in the game the hud itself is extremely clunky i mean it's kind of like it was back then all the uis were kind of clunky in this way especially old unreal engine games uh, it wasn't really changed much until about half-life 2 uh, ui started to slim down a little bit thankfully there is a command to disable the hud one of the maps that you can play does seem complete from what i can see which is the hollywood holocaust map from duke nukem 3d this map is interesting to me because it's a good way of gauging the improvement from duke nukem 3d to 2001 duke nukem forever and to be honest, the visuals, animations, texture work is pretty much on par from what I can remember around 2001. Yeah, the game wasn't finished at this stage. It might have been released around the time of Half-Life 2, Doom 3 maybe, which, yeah, would have been a bit behind. But Duke was always in its own kind of league. It never really tried to compete with Doom or Quake around the original Duke 3D release. It was always its own kind of beast and stood out on its own. So I can't see why this not being made and finished was would have been a problem if they thought that, you know, delaying it for Half-Life 2's development would have been like a, yeah, an FPS competitor, but Duke would have always been something that would have been bought. And I think this version would have done extremely well and Duke would have still been a main staple in the gaming community if this version had launched. And sadly, of course, we've got the Gearbox final version of Duke Forever in 2011, which uh, wasn't a it wasn't the worst game ever, but it, it def definitely wasn't what the Duke deserved. I mean, the Octo Brains on their own are super high detail. Like, the texture is a lot higher than things that you'd see in Half-Life 2 or Doom 3. It looks like a slime. It's got a slimy, horrible texture to it that's pretty detailed on the Octo Brain. I mean, the fire effect looks so good in this version of Duke Nukem. It, it, it's a 2D sprite. But it looks better than the majority of modern games fire effects it's just unbelievable the atmosphere and detail in this this would have been mind-blowing i feel just off these few details that we notice it's a really good study on this this version of duke that we didn't get to compare to what we did get as well as games around that time that released even years after as a complete package this version of duke forever is not complete whatsoever it's riddled with bugs a lot of the maps are just empty squares with a lot of black voids that you can't really do much in. There's no animations. Some of the levels show scenes from that trailer that are just frozen in place. No animations on any of the models. You can talk to some characters. You think them sunglasses make you look cool or something? Hey, boy, get away from my ass! There are some interactions. You can pick up items in the world like chairs or things off of tables and throw them around. Weapon sounds are pretty good. I do like the sound for the turret sections on the boat where you're shooting at the airships. That always sounded really good in the trailer and it's so nice to see it in action. Though very much incomplete in this build. It was obviously scripted for the trailer and obviously the scripts are broken in this leaked build. But from what I understand, this includes all of the source as well as all of the editors. There is also, from what I believe, a fully functioning multiplayer component to this build as well. I've not tried it personally yet, but I've seen some footage that people are actually playing it. And from what I can see, it works as intended. Uh, Falcon from the future here. So apparently there's rumors going around that there's a 2022 version of this Duke Nukem Forever that's a lot more complete and playable, as well as a lot of documentation and things to do with Duke Nukem there's probably a good chance that this might come to light in the near future. Anyway, 
back to Falcon of the past. So, if this wasn't shut down by certain people, this could be taken up by modders that were maybe really interested in doing so and kind of trying to complete what is there. Maybe the content is there hidden, but not actually like implemented properly. The scripts could be re-enabled and we could get some kind of basic look at what this could have potentially been. You just sit down right here and get comfortable. I'm gonna blow you away. Duke, our experts have matched the voice of this girl to the one who called you in your penthouse. Don't do anything to her right now. See where this leads. We've got to find the president. Stop this guy! You die now. Mm, I wanna finish this job. I can't leave you hanging like this. Head on out to the VIP area in the back. And I'll show you some real explosive action. Is this another bug hunt, sir? For now, like I've said, this is just really fascinating. A great little study piece to, to see what we could have had. And it just blows my mind. I'll leave me playing through Hollywood Holocaust in Duke Nukem Forever 2001. This is just purely for educational purposes. This version should have been complete and released back then. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoy the content I create. It really helps the channel out a lot. Leave a comment in the comment section below. What are your thoughts on the 2001 Duke Nukem Forever? Were you about then? Did you see that trailer? Did you get as hyped as I am? Super excited to see this and get my hands on it. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more of the content I create. I love you all and I'll see you peeps next time. Gave you the finger. Ah, you red bastard. Who's next? Step right up and get some. Beaster, asshole. Next, 
Step right up and get some. I never get to have sex except with myself. <laughs> <laughs> 